All right, so we've talked about when they give you two angles and a side. Now, this time we're going to deal with when they give you a side and an angle with the same letter, and then they give you a different side. So in other words, they give you two sides and an angle, but a side and an angle letter are going to match up. So here, if you look at example four, it says we're going to solve a, the triangle ABC if they give you angle, uh, side B is three centimeters, side C is 1.2 centimeters, and angle B is 115 centimeters, oh, degrees. And so we're going to solve the triangle, so that means we need to go ahead and figure out what's missing so we can go and find those missing pieces. So again, this is where I give you a side and an angle of the same letter and a different side. And here, B here and B here are the same letter, side and an angle of the same letter, and then a totally different side here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. It's going to draw, I'm going to draw a triangle out. And this time I'm going to change my triangle to look a little different with the lettering. So here I'm going to make this A, make this B, and make this C. I'm switching up again because it doesn't matter where they are as long as they, their, angle, their sides and angles match up or correspond with each other. So here is angle C, so side C, angle B, side B, angle, um, side A, angle A. So let's going to put in the pieces that they give us. So this is 115. We know this side is 3 centimeters. And we know this is 1.2 centimeters. So we need to find um, side A angle B, I'm sorry, angle C, and angle A. So we need to find these pieces. And so with that, that means since we're missing two angles, we can't add angles up and then subtract from 180 and get the third angle because we're missing angles right now. So we can do one of two things. We can either start with angle A, or we can start with angle C, or do whatever. It, it doesn't matter really. We can figure out how to do this. So with that, well actually it does matter, um, because here they gave you B and B, and they gave you a C, and then we should be able to find angle C. So they gave us the pieces here, and the only thing that's missing is this side, this angle. So let's go ahead and find angle C first. And that's again, we use, we're using, we're finding angle C because they gave us side C already. So since they already gave us the side, that's going to use that to help us find our angle. So again, they gave us both B's. So when we do this, we're going to do sine B over B. And that's going to equal sine C over C because we're trying to find angle C there. And again, B, so what they gave us, that's already given here, already given. And C, they already gave us. And so all we need to do is find that part. So again, let's go ahead and fill everything in. Let's choose the back. So we're going to fill in. So we know angle B is 115. Side B here is 3. Angle C we don't know yet, so what we're going to find. And then side C is going to be 1.2. So side C is going to be 1.2. All right, we filled it in. Cross multiply. Got it right today. Said it right this time. So when we cross multiply, we get 1.2 sine 115. So this times this, and then we do three times that. And again, do not go ahead and put this in a calculator, get an answer, and then try to divide by something over here. That's not going to work. I'm, I'll just tell you that right now. It's not going to work. All right, so now we're going to solve for C.
Now, solving for C, we have 3 sine C. With it, we know it's 3 times sine. So in order to be able to get it over there, we're going to divide by 3 first. Divide both of these by 3 first. So we have 1.2 sine 115 over 3. And again, do not put that in the calculator and say you're done. Now, to help us to find an angle, we have to get this sign to the other side because we have to get C by itself. So whenever we have to find an angle, and let's put that together, that's supposed to be one word, whenever we have to find an angle, We're going to have to do something called inverse. We're going to, have to do the inverse. And we're going to call this the inverse trig function. So here. Ugh. I'm going to do this. So it's sine to the negative 1 power, and that's actually in the calculator, so you don't have to try to figure out how to make that look like that. It's actually in the calculator, and I'll show you in a few seconds. Alright, so if you do a sine inverse, so the function and its inverse cancel each other, cancel each other out. So we're left with just C right here, angle C. And we have all of this. And we're going to put this in the calculator. So whenever we deal with finding an angle, we need to do the inverse part. We have to do inverse. So here, let me show you how to do that in the calculator there. So where you can, you're not have asking questions and like, Mr. Hall never show me that. Blah, blah, blah. So let's take a look at that. And I'm going to zoom out just a little bit out, not in, zoom out just a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and get all that good stuff in there. So turning it on, we're going to do the sine inverse. Now you see the sine button right there, sine right here. If you look above it, there's a sine inverse in blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to do second and sine, and it gets the sine inverse. All right, then let's do alpha y equals, so we get that fraction bar up there, and we're going to do the, all that's up here. All right, so with this, just to make sure before we hit enter, make sure that we're in the right mode. Let's go hit the mode button again. Make sure we're in degree mode. If we're not in degree mode, everything's going to work out horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. So we're in degree mode there. So do second quit we got out of there so again we hit mode we went in down to degree and hit enter to turn it on and we hit second quit to get out now that we have everything there we hit enter and so we get about 21.255 blah, blah 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 and so here I'm gonna move this off to the side a little bit oh come on So that was about 21.255. That's approximate what angle C is. Here he's there. And now going back again to the top part, that's 115 degrees is in um, a whole number. So here we're going to make this a whole number. So we're saying 21 degrees. So that's approximately what C is. Angle C. Alright, so in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and continue working on this same problem. But with it, I'm going to go ahead and find um, angle B and side B. Uh, angle, uh, angle A and side A, sorry.